It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. That he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. The king! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Oh! Big elbow! Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh, straight right! Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy. Is... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice body. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Tried to go, oh, he's got him right here. Right hand punch from the clinch. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too. If you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Throwing every part of himself into his big leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. How about that shit? Oh. He 
He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better starts to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Block that kick to the body. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Able to check that kick as well. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, round two. Nice strike. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. His kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now, watching the guy employ his kick-heavy strategy. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Good punch, land. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Three minutes to go. Went for the inside leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Right on the cut. He's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split. Showing his opponent that he has to work. He's out! Oh! Woo! What a fight! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. That's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, the And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.